Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Sridhar and I hope uh, you are subscribed. Do share this video with your colleagues who might find it useful as well. So one of the common questions that I get asked is how do we go about counseling uh, a parent when the baby is admitted to the NICU with respiratory distress, especially if the baby is worsening and needs ventilatory support. So uh, the, as the usual approach to counseling goes, you have to introduce yourself, you have to give a background to the problem and depending on the parent's level of understanding, you have to give an overview of what exactly is causing the problem. So for example, if you're speaking to your parent about transient acupnea of newborn, you can start with explaining that when the baby is in the womb, the lung is uh, filled with fluid and not air. And once the labor process starts, the fluid gets absorbed and during the delivery process, part of it may be removed as well. However, if the baby comes out by cesarean, especially if there has been no labor process, the fluid may not be absorbed, so the lung becomes stiff. And you can explain the reason for why we give the respiratory support. You can explain that when the lung is stiff, the baby has to work hard to keep the lungs open. So when we give the pressure through the nose or uh, depending on what support you are using, so the non-invasive ventilation is more commonly used in the setting. So explain that when we give gas flow through the nose with or without oxygen, it helps the baby to breathe comfortably and keep the lungs open. And all that we are doing is support the baby during the period when this fluid gets absorbed and it tends to improve. Uh, along with that, you also have to say whatever supportive management you give like IV fluids or tube feeds and antibiotics if indicated in this situation. You uh, give, give an outline of what your next plan is going to be and how you are going to monitor the baby. You also explain that if the baby has worsening, you may consider invasive ventilation. So the likelihood of that happening, you would have a reasonable idea, but you can tell them that we cannot predict. And as the time goes, we will be clearer. If there is any need for additional support, we will always inform the parents. And of course, in premature babies with RTS, you would start with saying that the two premature babies have a deficiency of a chemical which is needed to keep the lungs open. And this is called surfactant. In addition to keeping the lungs open, the premature baby also needs additional support for oxygen. Uh, so we may need support through the nose or through the tube in the airway. And we may need to replace the chemical in certain babies where the oxygen requirement is high. So you can explain to them about how you give surfactant replacement in these situations. So this is just a quick overview of how you go about counseling. So keep them in the picture. Don't assume that they don't need to know medical facts, giving an outline of the pathophysiology would make them understand better and they also feel that uh, you value them and you give them the necessary information. So and always important to keep them updated if there is any acute change in the condition, better to inform them. I hope this helps. Thank you.